All right, guys, so we are finally back for another tattoo aftercare video. You know, I did a video a long time ago. It did great. Got a lot of views, helped out a lot of people, and healed a lot of tattoos amazingly. But since then, I've changed some things. I've updated some techniques. And now in 2023, I think I have found a much better way to go about healing your tattoos so they heal the best possible way. So there are a couple things that you are going to need for going about cleaning your new tattoo. The first and foremost is going to be a cleaning station. Now, I'm at the sink right now because my arm fits in it nicely, but if you can really fit it in a sink, the shower is the better option. And that's where I find I've been doing a lot of my tattoos with the leg, my back, the chest, and all that. The next thing you're gonna need is a soap. Now, I'm using this one, but you can go ahead and use Dove Unscented. It was in my last video, and I still love using a bar soap, but there is that cross-contamination, all that. This, you don't really have that. The next thing, you need healing ointment. There are many different brands out there. I like using this one because I use it on my chest and I just found it work great, but I've used other products and I found a lot of products do work in the same way. And then the final thing you need is paper towel about going about drying the tattoo off and then uh, taking off that excess ointment. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take the saran wrap off that your kind of artist wrap you in, or maybe they put you in a uh, puppy pad or anything like that. We're gonna take that off and then we're gonna start cleaning it. You know. It's pretty easy. You're gonna have, uh, you're gonna find it's gonna be very slimy, the tattoo, but I don't want you guys to touch that thing just yet. You're gonna kind of just take it off and then you're gonna throw this away. We don't need this anymore. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is to go up and clean your hands because you know, you're gonna be touching this tattoo. So you're gonna really wanna make sure that your hands are clean. Now, I like to just clean them first before anything, before I touch anything. And also I like to in that time while I'm cleaning my hands, try to get it to a good temperature where it's lukewarm so it's not too harsh on the uh, tattoo because you gotta remember this is very sensitive and um, now that my hands are clean you're gonna see like look at that that is just gunky like hell so don't be alarmed if your tattoo is doing that that's just plasma dried up blood and all that so now that I have my hands washed clean now I'm gonna go about putting the water on my tattoo and then just pushing it down a bit and you are gonna see oh god that looks disgusting so I like to just push the water down and uh, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, you can let the water hit your tattoo if you want. Uh, it's just, it's a little sensitive on the skin. So that's why I would recommend just kind of just grab it, cup it, and then put it on a tattoo and push it down and let it do its thing with gravity. The next thing you're gonna wanna do after that is you're gonna finally start lathering up your hand, dime size amount, lather it up, and then you're just gonna go in and gently just rub it in. Don't be afraid. It's not going to like take your tattoo away. Just, you know, get it going. Circular motions. And you're going to see again a lot of plasma that comes in the hand. Don't worry about that. And then the next thing you're going to do after you're done kind of lathering it up is again, you're just going to push it down. And oh, man. If you guys could see all the plasma that's on my arm right now. It's crazy. Now, I like to do this a couple of times. So I'm going to put a little bit more on my hand. Just because I want to get as much of that plasma and that dried up blood and ink off. So I do this about two to three times just to really clean it as much as possible. Make sure you get all the areas that were tattooed and then just push it down again. And then once you start seeing the plasma and all that kind of stopping, you should be good. So now we're good and we're going to move on to the next step. So we can turn the, the water off. We're going to get our paper towels and you can work... Rip two, three, make sure they're clean paper towels. You're gonna wanna make sure that. And then you're just gonna go ahead and start dabbing the tattoo area. Now, you're gonna see some stuff come on the paper towel as well. That's just stuff that still stayed on. No need to be alarmed or anything like that. Just again, gently, lightly pat it. This is kind of now wet. You can't use this anymore. So we're gonna get another couple. And again, just dab. Put a little bit of pressure on. Don't worry, the tattoo's not going anywhere. And then you're just gonna continue to work away around the tattoo. Now, what I like to do a little bit differently than what I did in that previous video is I don't like to now wait until my tattoo is fully dry. Now, I kind of like to leave it a, just a little bit wet because when we go ahead and apply the ointment now, it's gonna just glide on the skin a little bit easier compared to if it was completely dry. But I wanted to dry just a little bit so while it's drying, I am going to clean up the station a little bit and then go about the next step. And that is applying the ointment. And this is what, again, where I've kind of changed my methods compared to the old video. Now, what I like to do is I like to kind of put dime sized amounts on my hand in different locations. 
And then I like to go about dabbing it. Now, I do the dabbing method just because it spreads it a lot faster than if you were to just put one big glob and then kind of spread it out. So if I do that, like right there and then, I've already covered so much of the tan too. And then after, you know, a couple minutes of dabbing, maybe a minute of dabbing max, it's already spread enough to where you can then kind of just go ahead and lightly, gently kind of rub it in. So now that it is fully worked into the skin, the next step and the final step really is to go about getting some more paper towel and then just lightly again dabbing the area that the tattoo is in and just removing any excess. The thing with you guys is you guys got to make sure you don't put a lot. You don't want to suffocate this tattoo in the skin, but you just want to leave a nice little protective barrier over it and also, you know, just really help nourish that new skin that is now kind of healing. So I've also changed one more thing compared to the old way and that is I no longer rewrap my tattoo with the saran wrap now I just kind of let it breathe and do its thing and what I like to do is I just like to go ahead and get a baggy t-shirt because obviously this is going to be over my arm and then you're just going to go ahead put it over and it'll add as protective barrier as well against everything outside but just make sure it's really baggy and then what you're going to want to do from there is you're going to want to go ahead and wash this tattoo three times a day you're going to want to go about healing ointment maybe three times a day as well. And then after the third, fourth day, you're going to start seeing peeling. And that's when you're going to want to go ahead and switch over to a non-scented, fragrance-free moisturizer. And then from there on, you can do it twice a day, once a day, depending on how well your skin is and how kind of like dry it feels. And then you guys are good. Now, I have an assortment of tattoo aftercare videos out there for you. So go ahead and watch that playlist and you will be perfectly fine. Your tattoo will heal perfectly fine. There are many other methods that I like to do and use, and uh, if you've ever heard of sanded herb second skin, I recommend going ahead and checking out those videos and maybe for the next tattoo, trying that out because it kind of takes all this kind of stuff we just did away. You can throw it out the window and you can just literally leave it on and the tattoo will heal by itself. So go ahead and check out that video, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that tattoo heals perfectly. Come back and let me know how it healed and how this new method works. And Hope you guys love the tattoo. See you guys soon.